welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, obviously, I'm with one of New Zealand's most prolific sports stars. Controversial at times, but obviously everyone knows the face, Mr. King Carlos Spencer. He's down here at um, OTP Health Club. I just want to thank the brother for coming down. Thank you, brother. Good thank to you, be brother. Here, bro. Good to be here. Carlos doesn't know this, but when I was a kid, I actually um, looked up to him during the, oh, the early millennial uh, ages of the All Black era. Um, this Back guy, in the 70s. Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> this guy here was, um, the, the things that he used to do in terms of the rugby field, but also off the field, I thought was actually quite innovative. Like, bro, what were you thinking about the toffee pops there? Ooh. What made you do that, I'm bro? I'm gonna be honest, bro. It was the money. Yeah. It was all about the money. <laughs> bro, I remember, like, honestly, bro, I remember, like, like it was yesterday, bro, like, this guy was ripped, eh, bro? Did you have the diaper for oh, Did you have the lean? No, nah, I didn't, actually. I think I was, um, I don't know if I was really that ripped in those days, nah, bro. You I reckon remember, I think bro. you're just being generous, bro. Um, I don't know what it was about Tommy Pops and what made me do it, but um, oh, I got a lot of flack for it anyway, bro, and I still get a lot of flack to it for it uh, to, these day, uh, to this day, and um, people still bring it up, bro, and people still bring out the Toffee Pops, you know, or turn up to an event or something, and what's the pack of Toffee Pops? Because I think I remember, when, I think it was a white dressing gown day, and you walked towards the couch, took it off, and boom, there it was, yeah, like, yeah. Sunny Bill Who, Sunny Bill Who, <laughs> hey, bro, that's why I was the original guy, yeah. he was the original guy. Geez, you remember it quite well, bro. I was, <laughs> I'm gonna watch the video. That was the for YouTube, it. bro. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's uh, really nice. But also, uh, uh, there was a few things that I remember when I was growing up, bro, and I used to admire, like the finger, the, the notorious finger. I think you guys were playing the Crusaders, and I think you guys might have run one. Yeah, I think yeah, you guys might have won today, bro. And I think that more like was a half it? a finger, I reckon. <laughs> it, wasn't quite, it wasn't quite fully extended. Didn't you it run was, all the way to the? Like, and then I thought, oh no, no, better not. Yeah, bro. Because so, yeah. you ran to the corner of the yeah, end goal, eh, bro? So yeah, I got to the end you goal. Uh, I'm not sure what I was thinking while well, I was down the other end of the field and what was going through my head when the ball came out of the scrum. But anyway, obviously made the pass and we ran the length of the field and then I thought, uh, I'll walk it to the sideline, um, corner flag, just to, just to waste a bit of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I dotted down, um, probably had about five or six teammates following me telling me just to put the bloody ball down lost, put it down. Anyway, I put it down in the corner and then I just walked back, not knowing that if I yeah. get the conversion, yeah. it um, denies the Crusaders of a bonus point, but I wasn't worried about you were just the conversion. Bro, you know, sold in the I knew we were going to win the game because the game was over and then um, through the corner of my eye, I, I saw something fly through the air and I looked down and it was a bottle. No, it was a coin. So someone obviously threw a coin at me. Um, Obviously couldn't throw because they barely missed me by about two meters, um, and that's when I decided to pull the old. And then I thought, oh no, I'll keep it no, no, I'm not <laughs> no, no. So it wasn't really the full, full extended finger; it was just a half. Um, anyway, went and um, set up the wall, walked back and just kicked it, and yeah, just it from there. It went over, which denied them of a of a bonus point. Um, but yeah, it's it's one. Yeah, one for the memory uh, banks, I suppose, that one, and, um, you know, I think a lot of people still talk about it today, obviously, yeah, bro. bringing it up, and it sort of, I suppose, um, comes back every time the, you know, the Crusaders, the yeah, Crusaders bro, they yeah. always show a little clip of that, um, but, yeah, bit of a laugh, and, you know, back in the good old days, bro. So, who's worse to play in, bro? Play in front of, sorry, Wallabies, or Crusaders fans playing for the Blues? Oh, I think they're both different. You know, I always liked playing in front of Crusaders because I knew I'd get a whole lot of crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A whole lot of... Hate. Uh, hate, and I used, to, I used to love that. Yeah. You know, I used to use that as fuel, and there's nothing better than shutting up a Crusaders a or, yeah, or a, Can yeah, yeah. a Canterbury crowd. And um, that's why I just love going down there, and that's why I love them so much down there. Yeah, because yeah. Because they made me play better, and they, made, they brought the best out of me, to be honest. So I always enjoyed going down there, although... You know, and they're, and they're just passionate about the game, you yep. know, and it was, you know, it was an Auckland Canterbury thing. Um, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I had no hate for the fans whatsoever. Um, it was just part of the game back then, and, you know, I, 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 the sooner I came to realise that and use that um, to fuel me, um, 
you know, the, the better. So used to love going down there, you know, and I, I think I was fortunate enough to probably win more games than I lost. Yeah, um, yeah. Can't really remember losing too much down there, which yeah. was good. Yeah. Because um, yeah, losing down there wouldn't have been fun because that would just, you know, allow them to stick the boot in everything. Yeah. yeah. It must be tough now, because the last era that the Blues were solid were like, the, the, I should say the golden yeah. years were your years. And I think it was Xavier Rush, obviously Case Muse, I think. Um, how was it seeing the Blues at the moment not really, I suppose, performing to what they were when you were playing? Yeah, bro? Uh, look, to be honest, bro, I think in the couple of, last couple of years, they've come up, eh? shown really good signs that, um, you know, I think they're on the right track. Um, I think Leon um, and his crew are doing a fantastic job. Um, you know, I think over the sort of past five years, I, they've decided to have a bit of a clean out yep. um, with staff and, and change the culture. Um, which is important. Um, so, I, I, I look, like I said, over the last couple of years, we've seen some, you know, some really big changes, and and them benefit from that. And I just think, you know, they're on the right track, and and you know, they're, they're in a good space uh, at the moment. Um, you know, I've been lucky to be involved with the um, women's OPIC this year with the Blues. Yeah. Um, so I've had a, a good chance to be down in that environment, you know, for the last sort of few weeks. Yep. And, you know, I'm just impressed with what's going on down there. So it's just good to see, really, because it has been, you know, sort of frustrating to ten or so years, years, man, you know, and yeah. Especially when you're sort of living overseas and yeah, you're seeing what's going on and you sort of ask the questions why, because the talent's always been there, you yep. know, they've always been blessed with talent. Um, but it just goes to show that talent is... There's not enough. It's culture, um, eh? I mean, if you've got, you know, a stale coach, a culture and environment, then, um, you know, you're not going to do well. So I've changed that, and fingers crossed, mate. Mm. It just, um, they just keep getting better from here. So uh, a lot of people probably don't remember that pass, that um, notorious, the, the pass that... Um, between the legs, bro, before Sean Johnson was even on the scene. No, no hate, no hate. <laughs> But um, again, this guy was the original that had that flair. But what made you do that instinctive pass? Bro, I, I, I think it's just that, it, what you said, it's just instinct. It's just in the moment, um, no time to really think. It's, it's something that I grew up with. And I, I think, you know, how I grew up was exactly like that. You know, I just used to try things. Yeah. Spur of the moment things, hey, never always come off. Yeah. Um, but it never stopped me from trying things. and. Uh, you know, I suppose when you're brought up and sort of coached like that as a youngster, it just stays with you. And you know, you know, f fortunate for me is one of those passes that come Made off. Made it, um, yeah. Look, man, a lot of times those passes didn't, um, but you know, it never stopped me from from doing it. And that's just the way I love to play the game. I love to express myself. I, I love to enjoy myself. Um, and you know, I just wanted to get there and, and have fun. Are there any regrets on the field that you ever remember to this day where you're like, I shouldn't have done that pass or I shouldn't have done that kick or is there anything that you kind of, that no, cost the game or anything bro? Or? Not really bro because I think for me as, as a player back then is that I couldn't afford to have regrets Yeah. Um, because that's not the sort of player I was, you know. I played, you know, with ambition, um, you know, I wanted to express myself. Yeah. Um, I wanted to challenge myself. You know, I played with no risk. Yeah. Um, that was my mindset. And for me to go and, and come out of a game regretting something that I'd done, um, then I probably wouldn't have been the player I was. Okay, I was upset with the way I played sometimes, yeah. um, which is normal. And I think that's important in understanding, okay, could I have done things differently? Yeah, yeah. maybe. Um, but nah, it was just the way I lived, you know, and, and the way I enjoyed playing the game. What was your best highlight? Oh, bro, I've been asked this question, mate, a lot of times, bro, and I, I can't have, probably, I, I can't pick one highlight, man, because I've been blessed um, over my years. I've been in some bloody good teams. I've been around some broadcast players, yeah. man, and, you know, and, and, and there's heaps of good moments for me, you know, is putting the All Black jersey on for the first time, you yep. know, putting the All Auckland jersey on for the first time. Winning my first championship playing for Horofanua at the age yeah, of 16 yeah, yeah, in the yeah, third yeah. division. Yeah, that yeah. was a big moment in my career. Um, man, I've just had so many good moments, bro. It's, um, it's hard to just put your finger on one. Yeah. Um, man, and just, you know, I've played with, some, like, I've played with Jonah. And, yeah. You know, 
Zinzang Brock. Yeah. I've, I've, I was lucky enough to come through different eras of the game, amateur, yeah. professional, um, opportunity to play overseas for a number of years, um, to to some pretty awesome stadiums. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I've been pretty lucky, bro, um, to be honest. So, yeah, just to put my finger on one, but nah, too hard, bro. Bro, <clears throat> this is obviously a, a ladies' question. <laughs> Yeah. What's it like being so good looking, Mr. Oh, King Carlos, bro? You should be asking yourself. <laughs> I should be asking you there, bro. Look at you, eh? Legit hey, the way, guys, bro. Hey, you do go up on there, bro. See, you got the hair, bro. I got the hair, and now I have to hide it with my hat, bro. <laughs> but uh, did it come with any, um, you know, being obviously that you're selfing, you know, being a heartthrob, and still <laughs> am, still, Academy. still are. Uh, has it ever come with any grief at times or nah? Um... And do people always nah, give you take your shirt off? No, nah, I don't think so. I've been pretty lucky with, with women, bro. And um, hey, like all sports, you know, you obviously get you know women women a part of it. Um, probably a little more so back in our day. Um, but you know, I'm, I was always a a one woman man, bro. And um, you know, that's all I concentrated on, just finding the yep. right woman. I found that early, bro. Yep, and, yep. Um, we've been together for years, and we've had two beautiful children. Mean. Um, very so, yeah. Sorry, and ladies. Only one woman in my life, brother. Sorry, ladies. He's <laughs> off the market. He's happy. Speaking of kids, bro, how is it like having your son in the style and in the in the in the media now, bro? Obviously, taking the name to the next level. Oh, yeah. No, it's awesome, mate. Yeah, you know, obviously, very proud parents, um, myself and my wife, and obviously just to see his journey and be part of that um, has been awesome. You know, he's been lucky to have some really good people around him, you know, so he's been surrounded by um, good people um, through his upbringing. Had a successful start to the seven circuit, you yeah, know, first yeah. year out of school, which has been awesome, you know, and um, we didn't really expect too much out of his first year, and, you know, he was lucky to get some really good game time in Australia, um, you know, and, you know, you look, you look very comfortable. Um, yeah, even being yeah. his old man and, 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 you know, saying that. So, you know, he, he also understands that you know, there's a long way to go and there's still a lot of work to do and it's just a start for him. Um, Were there any tears? Oh, yeah, I, I, definitely emotional, bro. Yeah. Um, definitely emotional um, because you always sort of want your, your, your kids to do well, yeah, whatever yeah, it is, bro. Yeah. It's not only in sport, it's just in life in general, mate, whether it's workforce or whatever it is, you just, you just want your kids to do well um, and you just want them to be surrounded by good people. Mm -hmm. you know, he, he definitely is. Um, and, we're, and we're quite blessed, you know, so we know he's safe, um, we know he's enjoying himself, yep. but we also know that he's, he's got a long way to go. What body part does he have of yours, bro, that you clean? Um, the legs, um, or his arms, or was he completely his mum's genetics? I'm not sure if he has my nose, bro. No, he does, definitely doesn't have my nose, my hoary nose. Um, I don't know, what he has, bro? Probably nothing, to be honest. <laughs> hey, it's probably all his... Because I noticed his build, bro. It's all his build. I noticed his build. He's tall. Yeah, he's bro, tall yeah. Me, you know? yeah. So that definitely doesn't come from me. Um, but yeah, nah, it must be all his mums. Definitely all his mums. So what's, um, what does King Carlos do these days now, bro? What's, what, what, oh, what does he do? Oh, bro, I'm still involved in coaching. Um, so, you know, I enjoy still being in the game and I've been coaching for the last sort of eight years since I, I finished playing. Um, spent a little bit of time in South Africa, Japan, um, America. Um, now involved with uh, women's Opiki, mm -hmm. uh, which is the Blues. Blues so this is my first year involved with women, so yeah, really excited about that uh, challenge, a new challenge for me, um, and one I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm still happy in that space, uh, working on a couple of side hustles. So yeah, um, supplements is, mm -hmm. is my next sort of side hustle and um, something I, I really want to concentrate on. Um, and do really well out. So I've just talked up with a, a brand called um, Premium Nutrition. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's, that's really my big focus over the sort of next sort of six months to the future yep. and growing that brand and helping uh, them. Uh, so really excited uh, about that as well. And uh, yeah, no, I just think uh, it's time to, although I still, still love my coaching, I still want to stay involved with that, but yeah, I just want to look at, sort of get into a bit of business and a few side hustles and just grow grow that sort of... Uh, so, life. what made you choose Premium Nutrition? Oh, it's a supplement that I've been using for the last sort of eight months to a year and, mate, just absolutely stoked with them. Um, mate, love every product that I've used. 
you know, I just saw it as a good opportunity for me after I met them, mate, awesome crew. Yeah. Um, mate, so so knowledgeable about the, the products, mate, the products are... Top notch, eh? doesn't say premium for a reason, mm -hmm. they are premium, you know, it's, it's top notch. And, you know, it's not often you, you get a, especially with the protein, you know, you, you, you get a good powder that mixes well with water, good consistency and tastes mm. really well. Mm. Um, but just all their products in general, and, you know, they've only got four products out, and I just thought it would be a good opportunity for me, rather than go to a, a well-known, established, known, established brand, yeah. brand that has 12, 15 products. Mm. This way I thought, you know, this, this is a, a brand I can de definitely help grow, and... Um, Definitely excited by that. So, yeah, really looking forward to working with him. So, how old are you now, King Carlos? My wife reckons I'm 47, but I reckon I'm only about 40. So, how do you um, keep in <laughs> how do you keep in tip top shape with your supplements and your diets and your training? Like, what is a what, if I'm a 47 year old looking at this interview? I'm like, man, I know that you know I want to look like Carlos. Obviously, you've you've defined <laughs> you know what I mean. Can't you've defined the age. And I'm 47 years old on the couch looking at this with I'm a female male. What does King Carlos do to stay in shape? Um, well, I think first, of, first and foremost, it's all about balance in life. To be honest, bro, you know, um, training, eating well, um, having a good lifestyle, um, but also enjoying life. You know, mm. life's got to be enjoyable. Um, otherwise, what's the what's what's the, what's the, what's, what's worth living for? You know, yeah. um, so good diet always helps but hey I enjoy the good stuff as well um, it's just about getting that balance right um, supplements is a big part of part of what I um, what I take and it all has been for the last sort of 20 to 30 years it's um, <coughs> something I used to use as a as a as an athlete yeah and it's something I still use to today so supplements is a big part of part of that um, and then it's just the training you know I I've, I've got to train every morning yeah you know I, always like to say I want to win the mornings and yeah, winning win the, the day, morning um, is me getting up early and, and training before I start doing anything else and it just clears my head and it puts me in the right frame of mind and um, to, to start the day so you know I'm a seven a day trainer but a trainer yeah. um, I try and have a rest day every now and then but I've always got to do something active like yeah. it's an active recovery you know so um, but it's just about getting that balance right yeah um, and I think the biggest thing for me, I'm lucky, mate. I'm blessed with good genetics, yeah, um, which is good. Um, so I think that definitely helps. What's a daily routine like for Carlos? Um, Wake up well, the time. Well, we talk today. Obviously, up at quarter to five. Try and get to the gym just after five, and I'll chuck some tin around for probably an hour, yeah. hour and ten, um, and. Cardio? I'll, or, no, no cardio. So oh, I don't have any cardio. I don't, I don't do cardio on, on lift, lifting days. So I lift three days a week. Yeah. And then I do cardio the other four. Um, but yeah, no, I just try and train once a week now. Yeah. And, and try and give the body a good rest. Um, sometimes, sometimes I might. It depends where I am. You know, if I'm, I'm with a group like the girls at training, and I've already trained, and they're doing a session or a run, jump in. then I'll jump in. And um, and that might be the only time I train twice a day. Um, and then, yeah, just work throughout the, the day in terms of what I'm doing. Yep. Um, but always want to train in the morning. I'm a morning trainer. Can't train in the afternoons. Nah, neither For some eh? reason, yeah. I just don't have the energy to train in the afternoons, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I like to get it out, done in the morning, clear my head, start the day off right. Yeah. Yeah. So besides, like, obviously the, the supplement side that you utilise, What's 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 your diet like? like? If you're on the go, like what you're like at the moment, what's what's something? Obviously, you see that you keep a good balance instead of eating just the standard chicken and broccoli that I used to eat when I was a bodybuilder. <laughs> it's just boring. What is something that you eat, being a 47 year old that has balance, oh, looks and shape? I eat everything. Bro. I eat everything. You know, I'm, um, I go through stages and I, I do different things. I you know I. I I do fast every now and then. What's a fast um, like? A fast for me will be not eating for 16 hours, yep. and I'll do that seven days a week. Um, and I might do that for three months. Yeah. Um, at the moment, I'm just trying to gain a little bit of weight. Yeah. So I'm in a bulking phase at the moment. Mean. So I'm just trying to get in as much calories as I can. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. At the moment, I think I'm weighing about 88 kgs. I want to try and get up to about 94, 95. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going through a bit of a bulking phase at the moment. So I'm just trying to pack in as much food as I can. Yeah. When I've got the time. Um, and that can just consist of, you know, heaps of rice, yeah. heaps of pasta, 
obviously the amount of training protein to get, keep the muscle going and then just heaps of fats basically. Um, so I just mix it up, you know, I don't do the same thing for 12 months of the year, I just mix it up so I don't get stale and you know, I just, I'm just testing, testing the body every time. How important is supplementation for oh, each phase? Yeah, it's, it's, it's crucial because sometimes you just don't have time to eat, you mm. know, and um, you just need protein on board every time, especially when I'm, I'm, I'm gaining weight, you know, I, I need protein six, seven times a day. Yep. Um, so to be able to get that in, I need to take a protein shake because yep. I just, you know, don't have time to prep food. Um, and then obviously my recovery stuff around my BCAAs. Yep. My, love my creatine. Yeah. Um, especially now that I'm that I'm trying to put on a little bit of weight, obviously. Um, so yeah, supplements, man, for me is huge. Yeah. Um, mate, I live by them. Mate, I, I use them every day. Yeah. You know, have done for years, um, and I don't think I'll ever stop using them. Nah. So what would you say to the 47 year old dad that's on the couch while he works <laughs> nine to five, uh, hectic day. What would you say for him to get started? What, what advice, like three tips? If it was three oh, tips. Oh, bro, I'm not good at training tips, bro. I'm not a trainer, but um, Anything you like probably could give three better tips than me. But oh, what man, I just, like? mate, first get moving. Yeah. Man, just any form of exercise, doesn't have to be much. Just for a start, just just get moving. Um, diet, man, diet's crucial, eh? It's, yeah. it's, it's uh, obviously, about calories, calories intake um, to what you to to what you're working out. Yep. Um, and mate, just yeah. What do you want your life to look like, basically? Yeah, you know, truly. That's, that's it. You know, how do you want to live your life, and how long do you want to live for? So it's saying, if your wife's happy, your life's happy. Right. You want to make Apparently, your wife happy, yeah, and I know yeah, your wife right. must be happy, bro. <laughs> <Apparently, laughs> uh, most of the time, I think. <laughs> um, what else was I going to ask? Um, I think. <laughs> so, what's what's your future aspirations, bro? Besides, obviously, the business side, because um, I know you had a brand. I think it was Loss. I think you oh, had a business yeah, that was, that was, yeah, that was years Quite ago. A while ago. Got into a bit of clothing and, and stuff, but yeah, that was that was a long time ago. Um, yeah, not for me. Um, not for me at the moment. It's just really establishing uh, premium nutrition. Yeah. Um, that's my real big focus at the moment, and just trying to grow that. Yeah. Um, and establish that. Um, and then I, I you know, I, I love my coaching. Yeah. Um, so I don't want to give that up, and I just really enjoy being in the women's space right now. And um, you know, I just want to see how far that goes. Um, so for me, it's yeah, those are probably the two big things for me. But the biggest one really is, is yeah, just growing that supplement brand and um, yeah, making it you know special. Any um, supplement that that's currently in the premium nutrition line that you would encourage that forty-seven year old father to utilize to help him get into shape like yourself um well obviously protein yeah um creatine yeah um uh i would recommend a testosterone especially for guys our age you yeah know, obviously our testosterone starts 100%. disappearing yeah once you sort of get above 40. yeah it does yeah um you know so if you can get on um you know a testo supplement man would be good um, you know, pre-workout if you struggle mm. with um, motivation before training, pre-workout pre yeah. is always good, you know, sort of gives you a good lift before you, you hit the gym. Yeah. Um, and I always recommend a good fat burner, bro, mm. you know, especially if you're trying to lose a little bit of weight, you know, you're trying to speed up that metabolism, good fat burner. Yeah, it's funny you said it, um, Carlos, because I know, I think, I'm not too sure the exact percentage, but I think when you hit 30, it drops like 3% every year or something. Um, I'm not yeah. too sure. Um, and I think a lot of the time, a lot of our men don't realise how much testosterone actually influences, yeah. like like what you said, your motivation, your ability to burn fat, your ability to grow muscle. Um, and it's something that I always bring to people's attention because I, being in the industry for about 15 odd years, you come across different walks of life and they don't, a lot of our men, they don't realise that I think it's, I think the hardest thing people think testosterone they are still always do that yeah, stigma, yeah, yeah. but they don't realise that there is actual like organic, um, naturally brewed stuff that I know that premium nutrition do, um, which I would encourage people to, to take because yeah. um, it's actually what exactly what you see, Carlos. Like testosterone is a major, um, major, major, major hindrance, but also a major influencer in terms of what your progress can be in just general life, eh? Like yeah, for sure, and, you, you know. know me and you know, I'm from um, 
um, from a, co- a company, uh, you know, we're always trying to put our heads together and come up with different recipes around sort of stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm keen to bring out a sort of over mid 40s yeah, to over 50s sort yep. of a, a supplement based around. You know that it testy, the maybe a little bit of growth hormone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, collagen-based product yep. Um, yep. that we're, we're, we're working on at the moment. Um, you know, so you know, although I always want to manage for our youngsters as well. You know, I want to try and look after us old fellas. Yeah, hundred percent. they get a little bit older yep. and making sure that we we're uh, looking after ourselves as well. So. Yep. Um, you know, we've got a few ideas, yep. uh, putting our heads together and always thinking of uh, new res- recipes to put together, yep. um, which is pretty cool and exciting. And I think, yeah, like, like we said before, like a lot of our men need to understand the importance of supplementation. Because um, I think like what you said, if you're always on the go, the quick option is usually like your fast foods like yeah. McDonald's and KFC, yeah. eh, brother? But yeah. well, if you've got things that are more healthier, as well as a supplement, which is why you have supplements, um, it can help a lot of our men. Oh, totally. Um, and we all go through it, but I've been through it as well. And, yeah. Um, man, I, mate, I'll put my hand up and I still do it, you know. Yeah. Man, it's like, when you don't feel like a protein shake, you might just, mate, oh, McDonald's is McDonald's, just around yeah, the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. A couple of cheeseburgers, yeah. you know, that's got about 25, 30 grams of protein. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, won't have too much calories that I need, but uh, yeah. it's, uh, it works for now. Um, yeah, so we all, we all do it. It's just trying to limit yeah. that, you know, and, and like I said earlier, just trying to get that balance right. And it all depends what your goals are as well. Mm, you know? yep. um, but I think just the importance of life is, is obviously what you chuck down your throat. So if there's, obviously you can speak from the fasting perspective, um, how did you find that helped you in terms of keeping in shape? Because a lot of our men that, and women as well, um, I think that would probably help them get into shape because obviously yeah. it's a lifestyle thing and it's pretty easy to skip meals. Yeah. Um, what were the benefits that you found out of fasting? Oh, bro, bro I obviously, just being able to stay lean yeah. um, most of the time. And then the w- one thing I was concerned about is because <coughs> obviously you're not getting that much food and you might only get sort of maybe, if you're lucky, two, three meals in a day. Yeah. And, that, and that's if you're eating sort of every hour, hour and a half, um, is that I thought I'd be, you know, I'd, I'd lose my energy. But, man, I was quite surprised. Obviously the first couple of weeks were pretty tough. Yeah. But after that, man... My energy was was even better. Yeah, you know, bro, which is yeah. quite surprising because I n- never really knew much about fasting when I first decided to do it. Um, but yeah, I, I suppose the benefits for me personally is just that maintenance around you know keeping the fat off, um, keeping lean, and then just the energy that I had. So do you train? Oh, yeah, bro, and the biggest thing is you just save heaps of money too. Right? Yeah, bro, hard, 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 hard. <laughs> So do you train on an eighteen-hour fast, bro, or do, yeah. how do you structure your training yeah, regime, tra- bro? No, I just train as normal. I always yep. train in the morning. Depending on time, obviously, um, I'll try and if I'm if I'm obviously lifting tin or lifting weights, I'll try and train an hour and a half before my fast finishes, so oh, I can so get a decent yep. meal in after. Otherwise, yep. if I don't, I'm not worried about that. You yep. know, if I have to wait three hours before I have a feed after I, I lift, yeah, that's all right. And then my cardio, I'm not worried. I always um, fart, uh, cardio when I fast anyway, and if I don't have to do it for the next three four hours, mm. then that's sweet. Would you encourage um, 40, 40 plus year olds to fast? Oh, definitely. I encourage them immensely. I mean, and I'm only speaking from experience. I've done it. Yeah. I know what it does for me. Um, like everyone else, maybe you know, jump on social media and and listen to people talk about fasting and, yeah. and um, every other piece of diet that's out there. But yeah. um, mate, from experience, I know it works for me. And yeah. I, I know it works for a whole lot of other people as well. So, yeah, I'd say definitely give it a go. See, it's funny because the last three, I started fasting about four years ago, yeah. and the changes that I noticed in my body were just crazy. Yeah. Like, honestly, bro, like, in terms of obviously having the right supplementation to yeah. continue, um, I think a lot of the time, a lot of our people, they don't realize um, the benefits of fasting because I think everyone. They, they think, oh, you gotta eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. Um, where they don't realize the word breakfast means to break your fast, so you can put that anywhere. Um, yeah, and then, like I said, do, do you do a water fast, bro, or is it complete? Do you... Nah, and coffee. So water, yep, yep. coffee, yeah, no, I, I stick with the coffee, yep. and obviously just black. 
because um, I love my coffee. Yep. Um, so that's the two things that get me through the fast is obviously water and coffee. And so what would you use in terms of supplements bro, during your fast to keep you sane or? Uh, my, nothing changes. Yep. Uh, I, I use the Too same slim. stuff. Yeah. It's obviously just, you've only got a small bracket of time to, yeah, to yeah. use it. Um, but nothing changes in terms of my supplements. Yeah. No. What's your favorite premium nutrition supplement bro? If you could Look, choose, I, one, I, I, choose one. I have to go the protein. Um, yep. Mate, because I, I, I love my protein. Um, I love that it's got a, a lean focus yep. um, uh, about it. Um, so obviously it helps me to stay lean. Yep. Um, but all the products are, are awesome, bro. Yep. Um, so I have to say I love all of them, but my favorite is the protein. Protein, eh? Yeah. And it's, 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 I'm just a protein freak, bro. That's all. And I think it's good because exactly what you see, bro, like a lot of established brands, they kind of ride the their name and what they do is they water down the product. Yeah. But for instance, like, we, I'll be honest, we sell only premium nutrition here because I believe in the people that 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 that, that, that manufacture it. Um, and being in the industry for so long, 15 odd years, um, you, you see all the hacks and the loops, kind of like well, you've yeah. been like in the rugby industry. And so you kind of immune yourself to more your morals and principles and things that probably mirror your your beliefs. And so, like I said, I've seen premium nutrition, like our, all our staff use it, like even Rich uses it. My, my wife uses it, they rave about the pre-workout. Like the pre-workout they say is absolutely phenomenal. I don't use pre-workout because I, I'll break my fast. Yeah. Um, if I was to use the premium nutrition stuff, but I've got first-hand testimonies from these guys um, and they rave on about it. They just say they can't believe the tingles from their face and, yeah, so that's the, yeah, I, I only put my name like what, like yourself as well, having a reputable name to a brand that you believe and trust, eh? Yeah, and man, that's the key for me as well. I'm not going to just jump on board with a, a company that does protein or does supplements. Yep. You know, I, I want to trust the brand. I want to know that there's good stuff in there and the quality is good. Yep. Um, and I want to know, also know that it's uh, surrounded by good people. And, um, you know, I've been working with Armit um, for the last uh, three, four months. Yeah. Um, and you know, um, mate, he's he's awesome. His yep. knowledge about um, the the supplements is unphenomenal. Yeah. Um, he's passionate. He yeah, works he bloody hard. Yeah. Um, and I can trust the products. You know, I know when you read the label, that's what that's you're going to get. That's what it is, bro. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, so you know, I'm not going to invest in a company just for the sake of investing in a company. Yeah. I got to invest in the company that I'm, you know, I'm proud to get associated with. I've used the product. I know yep. what it does. Yep. Um, so that's solely why I've invested in this this company, and, and I want to help it grow. Who would you say the supplements are probably best suited for? You? Premium uh, nutrition. Oh, Who would right, you everyone, say? Everyone. Everyone. Yeah. 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 Not only your athlete, um, your, your gym junkie. Yeah. Um, man, they're, they're for anyone. Um, if you want to live a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. Premium nutrition supplements uh, are for anyone, you know. It, um, I'm not just gonna do a supplement for for, for the hell of a you know, yeah. um, you know, we wanna we want people to look good, feel good, and uh, be healthy. Would they give us the toffee pops body? Oh, um, yeah, they will. They will. They will. <laughs> uh, um, what are you going to do after you finish coaching, bro? Are you, are you going to jump into the All Black scene, oh, nah, bro? Nah, look, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable where I am now. Um, you never know what's around the corner. Yeah, you know, I've always got an interest of maybe heading back overseas one day oh, yeah. um, and, and do a bit of coaching over there. Uh, but just for now, you know, I'm, I'm really small focused rather than long term focused. Yeah. Um, so for me now, it's, it's really about the next two, three years, getting my daughter through uh, high school, oh, yeah. um, making sure she's happy. Um, and then, like I said, man, I just want to grow this brand. You know, I'm, I want to make it the number one brand in New Zealand. Me. Because um, it is New Zealand based. It is, yeah. Um, it is. So, I mean, I've got a real drive to make that happen. Yeah. Um, you know, so I just want to put all my energy into into this at the moment. And yep. then, um, like I said, I've got the coaching as well, which I, I'm really passionate about. I like what you said about goals, bro. So how do you use goal setting, bro, to achieve your goals? Because obviously you've done everything, been in all black, blues. What do you use? Like, what oh, is, man, it's just... To establish it's, goals. It's, 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 it's hard work, man. you just got to work, you know, and, and you've got to associate yourself with 
good people. Mm. Um, you know, you've got to find people that understand what drives you and, and yep. what you want, but also you've got to find people that are driven as well. Yep. And, mate, I've, I've been lucky and I've found that um, with premium nutrition. Um, so, you know, it's just about understanding what you want and what it takes, understanding yep. what it takes and just working your ass off to get it yep. and do whatever it takes to get it, you know, and um, it's about putting in the hours. Um, so, yeah, just don't be shy of hard work. Yeah. It's the same in all life, mate. I'm going back to being an athlete, you know, you know, and athlete, being an athlete's the same. You yep. know, if you want it bad enough, you've got to work hard for it. You know? Do you break down to micro goals instead of macro? Not really, bro. Or just nah, kind of go you know, 100? I'm, 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 you know, like I said, I'm, I'm not a really big goal setter. And yep. I don't like focusing too far ahead of myself. You know, yep. I'm short-term focus. Yeah. Um, you know, and I like, I like to just stay in the moment. Yeah. You know, I don't like getting too far ahead of myself. So, you know, I just, yeah, I try and keep it as real as possible. Um, so... Yeah, I just, obviously, if, if I think of something or, man, it's like, when I say the gym for me is about winning the morning, you know, and I, for me it's about focusing on just winning the day, yep. and winning that day. Um, small bricks. Worry about tomorrow. Small goals. Yeah, small goals and small bricks, like you say, and, and day by day for me. Mean. Because you never know what's around the corner, brother. Thank you, team. Uh, I just want to send a big thank you to the man himself, number 10, uh, King Carlos, the one that I think probably owns the number 10 all black jersey, my man. Uh, I just want to thank you for giving us your time, bro. I know it's precious and I know you're busy, bro. Thank you for coming down to OTB Health Club. Um, we're down at 290 Great South Road. And thank you for uh, letting us know about this new venture, about uh, premium nutrition. Um, obviously, Team he's the one that's behind it, one of the major forces behind it, focusing on men's health, but also the wider range of New Zealand um, in terms of providing better health options um, and giving them or giving us average people a better supplement line to work with so anything else you want to say brother to the camera nah bro just thank you uh thanks to otb for having us Me. uh love to come out and here have a workout one day yeah um be bloody awesome but um yeah bro been Me. a pleasure thank, thank you very much bro